Ferrer, Ferro, Dingus, can two at first. Bottom of the lineup looking a little bit different than game one. Took a loss last week against Duke, but off to a good start here. Carrying well here today. And ripped into left. Taylor will have to play it on one hop off the bat of Cam Smith with that defeat against Duke last weekend. And Michigan State and some others. Line center field. Canarella is going to see that drop. Runner at second. Smith had to hold, so they're loaded. Good work of their pitching coach and the guys under his control and a call strike three. Tallahassee Community College. 1 1 pitch. Sky to center. Room for Canarella. Look at that ball carry. A little bit of wind out there. Yep. Innings of work. Payoff pitch. There's what walk number that? six. Wow. Taking all the way. Two base runners to start. A three run homer, part of a five run fifth oh. inning. And that'll be out number one. Cold Ooh. strike three. For an umpire. This is ripped into right field. Mathis, it'll get down in front of Tibbs. They'll wave Canarella. He'll come across with a first run of the game. Put it in play. We've talked about it. Out of your hand. Will Taylor. Chopper going to be tough. Arnold quickly off the mound. Fast man running. He gets him. Daniel Cantu. First baseman leads things off. Oh, boy. Skies it to right. Yep. And it's well hit. Mathis looks up. It sails way out of here. We're tied just like that at one apiece. Cantu, the towering home run, his first of the season. Then I'm telling you, one of the things that Gordon's going to have to be careful of, I mean, he's got, if he's going to pitch up in the strike zone, he's got to be up. He cannot, you know, do that thigh high fastball because his, his fastball does not sink. There's a pitch pretty much. In the air center. Canarella back on it. Terrace reaching and he got it. Might have been on its way out. Nifty play by the Tigers center fielder. Frustration for his counterpart. Swing and a miss. Third strikeout so far. Sophomore third baseman hitting 476 and he rips one high and deep to left. Taylor back reaches and it's gone. Cam Smith, Tigers able to contain him somewhat in the opening game. He did score a run, but he was 0 for 2. Now a single and a home run here in the nightcap. That is home run number seven on the year for Smith. Now we talked about his ability both defensively and especially offensively. It's a breaking pitch right down the middle. That ball was hit hard and tight. Taylor just missed that ball. Again, he's kind of got an opportunity to start. That's hit well to right field. Mathis, Terrace, Wall, and gone. Seminoles take a 3-1 lead all on solo homers. Ferrer, his second bomb of the afternoon. Give him nine homers on the season. Moves ahead of Tibbs for the team lead. And it's a fastball really well located down and away and Ferrer just sat back and went with it and got it up in the air. Called out on strikes first time up lined into left. Arnold had retired the previous eight batters. Tigers have a two out base runner but holding the runner on. Did he go. Yes says the third base umpire and get elevated and get underneath it and try to have a big inning. Feel good when you can put a guy at second and right who's played a lot there in place to purify. Swing and a miss. One two coming to the center fielder for the Seminoles. And that's hit high and deep to right. Let's just say Williams just got his revenge. A two run blast, a no doubter. And it's five to one. Robbed of a home run his last time up. That time. Clearing the roof behind right center field, and you see the emphatic touching of home plate. Fourth home run in the ball game for the Seminoles. First time with a man on. Well, you look at a little bit concerned about the 
Yeah, extracurricular, uh, maybe taunting a little bit. Lake Worth, Florida, played his high school ball at Palm Beach Central, and a called strike three. Time, there has been one tie, and going the other way through a hole in the left side of the infield. Leadoff single here in the fifth for the right fielder Tibbs. It's on the season. Four pitch walk puts him on first and third in this ball game. Skied on the infield. Third baseman calling for it. In the hotel in downtown Greenville when they played at Floor Field. Shot right back to the mound, and what a job by Arnold. And that caught a piece of the Tigers' catcher, so Clemson has a one out base runner. <laughs> Chopped to shortstop. Lodis on to second to get the force out. In the first game, as you see, at least one strikeout in five of the six innings in which he's worked, and a called strike three. Arnold walked the first two Tiger batters, just the sixth and seventh, three passes he's allowed on the season. Shortstop two for over on the other side of second base. He's out there. Line shot, Taylor. Ooh. Down to a knee to pull it in. Had two home runs in the series last year playing for the Knights of UCF. Goes the other way. Long run. Taylor going to drop in. First and second now with two away. And the first hit in the doubleheader for Ferro. Tibbs coming down the line. Skied to right. Back on it. And looking up is Mathis. And it's gone. There's your insurance. They were looking for a towering home run. Fifth of the season for Marco Dingus, the DH. And the lead is now 8-1. to one. Another home run hit in this second game of the doubleheader. A fifth by the Seminoles. I did not think the ball was hit that high. I thought it was hit hard. I thought it was hit too high. But once it got up in that wind, I mean, it carried way out of here. Center also grounded out to Lodi said short goes the other way Tibbs long run sliding attempt on his way to second Hindelider diving with a one out double but I, I talked about the number of pitches he's thrown there's your strikeout um, you can almost see it coming but you knew he was yeah. going to come back with that pitch yeah. one two from Arnold on the right side for row and that'll do it for the Tigers in the seventh a double left stranded. Two and two. Hit batter and a base runner to start things out. Overtop will trot down to first. 3 1 pitch. And two on to start things out of the ninth. That's Hit well, high man. and deep to left center field. Williams will watch it sail out of here. Second home run of the doubleheader for Hinderleiter. Give him six on the season. And it's an eight to four game. Boy, how big was that three run shot in the seventh inning by Dingus? My. Oh. Now 25 batted in for the Tiger transfer from Davidson. Absolutely crushed. Not wind aided at all. Oh, no. One of his last 21. He'd love to come through right here. Popped up. Tibbs and right. And it's out number one. 25 home runs in four years at Davidson. Yeah. Already six now this season for Clemson. Skied to left. Jordan Williams, who came on as a pinch runner, backs up shy of the terrace, has trouble, and it's going to drop. Into second goes Gerald. Yeah, he struggled with that the whole way. 3-0 pitch. Gerald takes his lead at second. Four-pitch walk. A couple of pitchers doing that for Canarella. 3-2 pitch, line to center field. That's a base hit. Gerald had to hesitate. He'll hold it third. The bases are loaded, and what do you know? Here comes Blake Wright. Line shot, three-run homer in a five-run fifth inning of game number one. Bags are full, 8-4 to four. Seminoles. First pitch swinging, center field. Williams back at the terrace at the wall, and it's gone. A game-tying grand slam for Blake Wright here in the bottom of the ninth. A 
Unbelievable. Well, we talked about this ballpark playing small right now. It's a fastball over the middle part of the plate, and Blake Wright with that that power swinging that hot bat inside out at it, drove it out right where the wind is blowing out, and it carried out of here. They also talked about early, you know, to start this inning, you had a hit by pitch, and then you had a walk, then the home run, then an out, then a double. There you see the inside out. Awaits a 3-1 pitch from the lefty. Lays off. Another base runner for Clemson. Throw to first. Ooh, boy. That was close. That looked like they had him. Yeah. Mathis, the throw did beat him, but it looks like yeah, the hand, the right hand of Mathis yep. got underneath the tag. Yep. And, yes, the call is out. Of course, has been the best on the Tiger team at reaching by way of the walk. And in this case, a second time in the inning, he gets on on a hit by pitch. Seven across here in the ninth to tie this game. And ball four puts him on first and second with two away. Andrew Leiter began this game at first, moved over to third base in the third inning. And it's lined into right field, a base hit. Runner will be waved. Here comes Overtop, and the Tigers walk it off for a second time today against Florida State. This one could have Miracle put next to it. <laughs> Look at that enthusiasm. <laughs>